Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video here, we are able to successfully logged in, right? We are able to successfully logged in with the user. So if you put that appropriate username, if you put that appropriate password, then you are able to access that our dashboard. Great. Now I want to do, I want to complete that logout portion. So in my theme, there is also another button as a logout. So that is everything in our index, right? So into this index, I want to create another route. If you go to that index and then into this index here, you can see um, there is actually other pages because everything is in particular this page. I didn't separate any page. Um, that is our main page. So first of all, that is our sidebar, right? So that is our sidebar and that is in our top. In our top means that means header, right? That is our header. And into this header area, first of all, I want to, I want to find out about this part. That is our header, everything, and John name. What exactly that our logout button? Because that should be, you can see that is actually our logout button, right? There is a change password, and then there is a logout. Great. So into the logout, first of all, in our head if area, into this encode tag, I want to, do, I want to create one of the route. That will be as a route. And I name this one of the route name. Okay, here I name one of the route name as a admin, admin logout, logout. Okay, admin logout. So this type of one of the route now we have to create, right? Now I go to that web, into this web, better with this middle around to copy it. Now in our index, into the index I want to do, I have created one of the route name as a admin logout. I copy it, so that will be as a admin logout, right? That is our name. Our name will be as a admin logout. And I want to do, I want to create our URL. Our URL will be as a admin logout. Okay, I name it as a admin logout. And then in our admin controller, I want to create one of the method as a admin logout. What of the name actually choose? Right now I name it as a admin. Okay, admin logout. Great. Now I want to create this admin logout method in our admin controller. Now go to our admin controller here after this. I name it as a public and then function and then our method name as a admin logout. Great. And better I put some of the note for you that will be our and method okay so that will be started from this position and that is our and it great so into this admin method what exactly we have to do so right now we are using that which one I right now we are using that our guard will be as a admin right simple work with this auth okay with this auth I want to do I want to check that our guard when this guard will be as a admin okay I make it as a when that will be as a admin and then there is a default one of the method as a logout okay there is a laravel default one of the method as a logout method i simply declare this method great and after that i want to do and return it with a, another page better that will be same i copy it and then i paste it okay that will be the return redirect to the route it will be return redirect that means it will be return redirect to our logging page right then if you go to that logging page for the logging page i have already created the route name as a logging form I copy it now that will be return redirect to our this logging form page with some of the message uh, it will be display because in our logging page I have already loaded everything right in our logging page I have already loaded that our message our message should be display I want to do and to make it as an admin logout okay log out successfully so this type of one of the message now that should be display and also I'm using that auth make that make that sure that is use this auth okay so perfect so friend that's all now if you click as a save all okay if you click as a save all and now if you go now refresh this space and now i want to do it to click as a logout click as a logout yes you can see you are successfully logout and also is display as an admin logout successfully okay and now if you put inappropriate username password click as a login Yes, you can see it's now displays the invalid email or password. And here, because there is our admin username and the password I have already inserted, I copy it. And now I want to add that appropriate email address. And password was as a password, right? There is a password. Now click as a login. Yes, you can see it's now successfully display our message before I didn't check it as admin logging successfully right here i have already done this job if you go 
uh, if you go here that means when that will be as a successfully logging in our admin dashboard it will be display our admin logging successfully for the reasons in our index into the index i have already displayed right i have already displayed this message you can see that is actually our message now i hope everything is very clear now it's display as the admin logging successfully and also is display the name display the email address great okay and if you close it then that will be gone and if you from here if you click as a log out now it's successfully log out and it's display as the admin log out successfully so here we successfully complete our admin logging and then dashboard page now there is another page as a register right i want to do and to also complete that register how can create some of the register and how we can insert some of the register in our next video i will show you that things with the live example so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video